skin blemish types, moderate acne Acne falls into the moderate category. If you have 20 to 100 whiteheads or blackheads, 15 to 50 inflamed bumps, or 30 to 125 total lesions. Dermatologists usually recommend prescription medication for moderate to severe acne. It may take several weeks to notice an improvement, and your acne may appear to get worse before it gets better. Skin blemish types, severe cystic acne men's skin is more likely to develop cystic blemishes. One sign is if the blemish turns deep red or purple. Severe cystic acne is a painful condition. Also called nodular cystic acne, people with severe cystic acne have multiple inflamed cysts and nodules. The acne may turn deep red or purple. It often leaves scars. This type of acne is more common in men than women. When women do get cystic acne, they often experience outbreaks at certain intervals during their menstrual cycle and often on the lower half of their face. Prompt treatment by a dermatologist can minimize scarring. In some cases, a doctor may inject corticosteroids directly into nodules and cysts to reduce the lesion's size as well as painful inflammation. Skin blemish types. Acne conglobata Acne conglobata, also termed acne conglobate, is one of the most severe forms of acne. It involves many inflamed nodules that are connected under the skin to other nodules. It can affect the neck, chest, arms, and buttocks. Characteristics of acne conglobate The characteristic of acne conglobate include comedones, pustules, foul smelling cysts, sinus tracts, and atrophic and calloid scarring. This type of acne is more common in men and is sometimes caused by taking steroids or testosterone. If systemic symptoms like fever or arthritic symptoms develop in patients with acne conglobata, the disease is termed acne fulminans. Timely treatment by a dermatologist is essential. Skin blemish types. Acne mechanica Have you ever noticed red or pink bumps after wearing tight-fitting athletic equipment? It may have been acne mechanica, a skin condition usually found beneath heavy protective equipment and is often seen on football and hockey players. Acne mechanica is caused by a combination of factors, including heat, friction, and pressure against the skin. Acne mechanica is sometimes called sports-induced acne because it occurs frequently in athletes. Preventive measures include wearing an absorbent material under sports equipment and showering immediately after activity. How to get rid of acne Topical therapy Topical therapy is acne medication that is applied directly to the skin, like gels or creams. Over-the-counter topical products can often help mild acne. Topical medications may contain these ingredients. Benzyl peroxide, which treats acne by unclogging skin pores and stopping bacterial growth. Some acne products with benzyl peroxide include Revoxyl and Trias. Resorcinol, which dissolves whiteheads and blackheads. Resorcinol breaks down the upper layer of skin and helps remove dirt that may be trapped there. Acne products with Resorcinol include Resinol and RA Acne. Salicylic acid works by easing the swelling and redness that comes with comedones. It also opens blocked pores, allowing pimples to shrink. Common products containing salicylic acid include asepsia, noxzema, and mediaplast. Sulfur is mildly antimicrobial antimicrobial, and it is used in acne products to prevent P. acne's growth. Sulfur also helps keep the surface of the skin dry of oils and actually helps peel off this layer of skin, which is already dead. Many acne-fighting medicines use sulfur, including clearasil, the product of refining mask, and murad. Tretinoin works by affecting the growth of skin cells. Common acne-fighting medications with tretinoin include Retin A. Etvalin, Refisa, and Tretinex prescription products such as antimicrobial or retinoid creams can be used to treat mild to moderately severe acne. These can be prescribed alone or in combination with other ingredients. How to get rid of acne, systemic therapy Systemic therapy refers to acne medication taken by mild. Antibiotics may treat moderate to severe acne by targeting bacteria and reducing inflammation 
and include medications like tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline, and erythromycin. Other systemic therapies include oral contraceptives, which can reduce acne in some women, spironolactin, an anti-androgen hormone pill, an isotretinoin, high-dose prescription vitamin A. Isotretinoin is used only in certain severe, cystic acne cases or in cases where other treatments don't work. A course of isotretinoin treatment requires regular appointments with your dermatologist.